Hello there guys, welcome to our 37 C++ tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be um, uh, on maps. So we're going to go ahead and talk about maps and we're going to define a directory here with phone numbers and usernames uh, very shortly. And if you guys didn't watch my previous tutorials, guys, go ahead and watch those, rate my videos, leave comments and so on, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done uh, that as well. That truly means a lot. It gives me a lot of feedback if I'm doing a good job or not. And also thank you for watching this tutorial, guys. So again, we're going to get started by um, Typing our code, and if you don't quite understand it, do not worry. We're gonna go over it in more detail at the end. So let's go ahead and get started by including the libraries we need. So let's include the IO stream and next. Let's go ahead and include the string library, and also let's include our map library here. Next, we type using namespace standard and is going inside our main. So in main, and I'm gonna go ahead in here and type return zero just to have it there, so I don't have to worry about it later on. All right, let's go ahead and define our map here. To do that is easy. Let me just leave a space here. We type map, and inside here we specify data types we want. So I'm gonna type string and string in our case, and I'm gonna call it directory. Again, if you don't quite understand now, do not worry, guys. You will you will understand once we're done defining it. Alright, so now let's go put some names in our in our directory and numbers here. So I'm gonna call here. I'm gonna call first person here. I'm gonna call him John. These are all random names and numbers, guys. I'm choosing so. Let's call it 800 995 64. a random number there. Do the same thing for the second person. And let's give him a name also and let's call him Mike and also let's put a phone number there just a random phone number okay and let's input the final the, not, uh, the last person here I'm gonna call him uh, what should we call him let's call him Bob and let's go input a number here also some mm, 981 Okay, so we have our directories here. Directory. Now let's go ahead and have a variable here called string and call it name. And I'm gonna ask the user to enter a name. Enter a name. And allow him to input the name and store that name in the variable we just declared, which we called it name. And let's go have an if statement here. So if directory, so we're going to look in the directory, we're going to look up for the name that the user will input. And I'm to do that with that find. And find is a function built in the map, basically directory, in, I mean, included in the map library. And we know and we can use that. Our directory can, can use that function because it's basically a map. So to do that, we just type name in there. So we want to find our name. Keep searching until until we uh, so we want to keep searching until we have reached the end and once we reach the end of the of the um, directory and we didn't find anything we want to break out basically all right so if if we find the name and we haven't reached the end here what we want to do is let's print out the name or let's print out name which is the person's name so let's type name and then put a space there and then let's go ahead and type the message here what we want to do here is, is go ahead and type um, so we have the name so let's say for example the user inputted John so it's going to be John and I'm going to say John phone number is and then let's print out the phone number to do that we just type directory directory and then put the name in there and let's put an end line here now let's also have an else statement here why do we need the else? Just in case the user inputs a name that basically uh, is not in our directory, so it's not listed. So let's say um, let's put another message. Sorry, um, uh, sorry, but no listing for and the name. And then let's put here a uh, space and let's put was found in our directory. 
so no again if if this example uh, if this example was to be John this this would say sorry but no listening for John was found in our directory and then all right so this is our total here let's go ahead over it part of the main part you guys don't haven't that that's new is the map here so this is basically de declaring our map and you can have different data um, types here but I chose string and this is going to be our key basically basically how how will this search uh, in our map for so let's say we were searching for California how do we search for California so we type California and then we, we go ahead and look up in our map where California is located and then corresponding to California is basically um, a, uni uh, a unique aspect or so on so in our case we have a, a, a name which is the key and also a corresponding number which is their phone number and I'm gonna use I'm gonna store the phone number as a string because we're not performing any, any mathematical operations, so we can do so we can do that. And also we declared our string variable here. So we input the three names in our directory here: Mike, John, and Bob, and their corresponding phone numbers, which are not real phone numbers by the way. And also all, all the names I, d I do not uh, um, I do not know any of these guys or 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 so everything here is made up and. We declare the variable data type string in order to allow the user to search for a person. So and then he enters the name, then we store that name in the variable, which we look in the in our directory. So we use the find function that's already that comes with the library with the map library, and we search in there uh, for that name. And if we if we do find that name and we haven't reached the end, then we print out the name of the person and, and his phone number. But if we if we if we, if we search for the person and we didn't find the um, the name and we and we reached the end of the of the directory, that means that there was no listing of that person in the directory. So then we print out our else statement here. So we print out sorry, but we didn't find that person. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look if this actually does work. We and we'll go ahead and run this multiple times just so you guys can see. Alright, so it was built successfully. Let's get start with our debug in here. So let me search for John. And we do get John and we get the corresponding phone number for John. Alright. Let's go ahead and search and then run it again here. Let me go ahead and search for um, Mike this time. Let's see if Mike is there. Alright, so we do get Mike's phone number also. And let's see if we get the same thing for Bob, but a different phone number. And let's hit Bob. And we also get Bob's phone number. Alright, so let's go ahead and try maybe if we input a name that's not listed in there. So let me type um, Joseph or Joe. So it says sorry, but no listing for Joe was found in our directory. Alright, guys, so this was a quick tutorial on maps, and we did a, um, a basically an example of a directory. So thank you for watching, so thank you for watching the tutorial, guys. If you haven't watched my tutorials, go ahead and watch those, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. And we'll be We'll be back with another tutorial very soon. Thanks for watching and stick around for more guys.